the first time I met him was the same day that I ended up committing. I remember it was at Stoneworks in the room. That's where we had our dinner at that night. And I called him outside, talked to him for a couple of minutes and just told him that I was going to commit. And yeah, so weird story. First day I met Coach Coco was the first day I committed to him. You know, he, he took a chance on a high school defensive back, you know, that doesn't look like most defensive backs in college, especially division one. Um, he gave me an opportunity um, and I, you know, he gave me an opportunity to further my education, to stay at home, to represent the community, uh, you know, to play in front of my family. Uh, and, and, you know, a lot of the lessons learned at UTSA, I still, I still live with today, you know, so thank you. I know a uh, quick little story about him uh, and Coach Brown, I, I, you know it, we, uh, uh, here at Beeville and we, we play at Bernie uh, two years ago and I kind of uh, text Coach, Coach uh, Coker and uh, say, hey, we're playing in Bernie. I know you're up there. If you want to if you want to come by, that would be great. Uh, we're taking on uh, taking on the Greyhounds. So, uh, I mean, not knowing not knowing what's going to happen. Well, sure enough, he hits me back. Absolutely. I'll love to. And uh, he sat on the on Beeville side uh, for sure. I made sure that he did that. And uh, yeah, but uh, I mean, again, he has so many things that he could be doing, but he, he ended up coming by and, and watching a uh, football game right then and there. And, uh, and I mean, that's just that just shows me the love that he has for for not only football, but, but for the for the boys that he brought up and uh, turn them into men. And uh, again, that's that's something that goes beyond football. I mean, again, yes, thank you for the for the opportunity. Thank you for believing me. Thank you for the best four years of my life. But then. Every guy on the screen loves football. Um, and, and the ones that get into coaching, you love football, but as you get older, you realize it's a lot more about the game. That's usually how we get into it. We love the game, it's competitive, but then there's a there's a people aspect to it. You get to make boys into men and, and there's a mentorship about it. That's where I think Coach Coker's influenced um, to Eric. After playing at UTSA, I had the, the opportunity to coach for Coach Coker for a year. I GA at UTSA. And there's so many lessons I took away uh, from him on that side of it. So many things that I still take with me today as a, as a coach now, I learned from watching Coach Coker, listening to Coach Coker in staff meetings or seeing how he carried himself on day-to-day -day operations. Uh, and just, just so that if I could say one thing to him, is just thank Personally, you. The only thing I would like to tell him is just thank you for giving me that chance to prove that I'm worthy and uh, allow me and my brothers here uh, who are all a part of this it's great fraternity to put our best foot forward. Uh, this endowment is, is just a recognition and it, it's the least that we can do. It's it's not even it, it, anything to be able to repay the debt that, that all of us owe to him.